Hello, today I want to discuss how we can replace UI UX Figma prototyping and use instead of it uh, a new AI tool called Cursor. I don't know if you are dreaming, so many options have been hidden. So first of all, I have prepared some Figma mockup. I'm not sure that I want to describe how I can do this. Uh, probably you need some design background or some hard skills in Figma, but I have prepared this one. I am just recommend uh, you to use a r correct naming and semantic here. Use auto layouts and write uh, stroke and border settings for this one. For example, I want to show this for my stakeholder or for a client, so uh, I understand the business logic of this screen, but probably stakeholder not. So usually I need to create a prototype from this screen to show the interaction, to show the business logic, because it's I'm a designer, it's obvious for me how it works. I don't need additional screen, I don't need additional instruction to build the screen. So for other people, I do. Usually I'm created a component for every buttons and I start to build interaction with a prototype tool like add a link in, then I'm click on present. And here I'm clicking and select ready to use flows and start to show different scenarios. And you need to spend on all of these hours and hours and hours to build a quality prototype, but I don't want to do this. I want to save my time and I want to show you in this video how we can save your time with new AI tool called Cursor. So first of all, this is the interface of our Cursor. Here we need to provide a code. I have created a pet project, pet AI project here, and have created a three file, like JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. But in Figma, we have only mockup, so we need to transfer this file to Cursor. What we need to do, click on code, uh, and uh, select some plugin, for example, local file lightning, select HTML and CSS preset. And here we have a two boxes, one for structure uh, HTML and one for style CSS. We need to copy this one, go to the cursor. I don't want to describe how you can do this project because uh, you can just uh, open some videos or ask ChatGPT because it's obvious it's fundamental knowledge. So we, for example, open index.html, paste this code here. Then we go back to style CSS, select code from style CSS, and uh, paste this code here. So now we have a code for our design in the cursor. One for CSS, one for index.html. What we need to do next? So we open this panel. We have a chat window. Here we need to provide a prompt and an instruction what we want to do with our design. Ready to use prompt. So this is create interactive clickable web application based on my design. And I need to add a context for this prompt. Uh, I'm find style CSS, I'm find index HTML because we have uh, some code here and I'm click on enter and chat start to create and generate a new modification for our code and start to create a code for JavaScript. So just click on apply. This code will paste instead of existing one. We click accept file. So we added this code. Then we go to the style CSS, click on apply, replace this code by existing one. Then we click on J JavaScript. We open JavaScript file, paste this code here and click on accept file. So we click on reveal and Finder. Let's open this. So this is our application. So it's a clickable one, so we can add a new row. But here we have uh, some mistakes and we can fix it using cursor. But as you can see, it works. So let's go back to, to the cursor page. So we need to add some updates. First of all, members. Okay, I have prepared some a new prompt that fix mistakes in our logic. 
So you don't need a uh, have special knowledge to provide this prompt. Just let's check it. We click on apply, accept file, we can apply, accept file. Yeah, and that's all not for HTML file again. So I have updated our HTML. So here we have, okay, so for example, John, John Doe. Oh, sorry, John Doe, Brad Pitt. Oh, it works. It works. Great. So as you can see, we have updated. So <laughs> I don't know why it's rotate. So this is a prototype. It's ready to use application. So we can add a new, a new row or we can delete existing one. We can delete second update team. So yeah, it's only five minutes and we do this prototype only for five minutes, not in Figma. So it's ready uh, and you can show it, you can solve your solution by this prototype. Or you can do the POC or you can do the MVP using a cursor. So you don't need to provide this in the Figma. What do you think about it? Left a comment. Thank you for watching.